It's that time of the year, time to hit the open road with the family for a trip to the beach. Today one covering a gym on the Florida coast, one you might want to visit if a laid back vacation with ample activities to keep the kids entertained is on the agenda. Today we're headed to Amelia Island. The Northeast Florida Barrier Island along the Atlantic Ocean features 13 miles of beaches to enjoy, wildlife to fascinate, and has been ranked as one of the top 10 islands in North America in the Condé Nast Traveler's Reader's Choice Awards. But don't take our word for it. Been here since the middle 80s, coming on vacation in the beginning and loved it so much that we call it paradise and moved over here permanently. And I'm not going anyplace else. I've been around the world and I can't find any place any finer, so we love it. The area is known as the birthplace of the modern shrimping industry. With that title comes a certain expectation when it comes to restaurants. And if great food, seafood in particular, is a necessity on any beach trip, there are plenty of locales that fit the bill. We have a lot of fresh seafood here. So stuff that's uh, swimming around the ocean today will be on our plates tomorrow. Uh, of course, the fresh uh, shrimp we get from either here, from Mayport, which is a uh, another shrimping place about 10 miles from here, uh, but just all the great fish we get, the mahi, the grouper, uh, the cobia, I mean, just it's fresh as can be, that's what we emphasize on. A lot of raw oysters, uh, crabs, um, we went to a place over there on the, um, on, I guess the St. Mary's River, uh, Brett's Waterway, that was, that was real good, they had some real good soup there, and uh, other than that, just seafood, I love seafood. Binion was on his honeymoon while visiting Amelia Island from LaGrange. He noted the beautiful beaches, the relaxed family atmosphere, and activities as the positives of the area on this, his first trip here. It's something Tammy Barr, who's been coming for 15 years, echoes. I like Amelia just because it's very family oriented and it's not very busy. So every time that we come, it's not, you're not going to be in traffic. You're not going to have uh, a wait pretty much anywhere you go. So we always bring our kids here and just love it. For Barr, the beach and pool are the hub of the excitement for her family. Between playing, riding waves, walking the beach looking for shells, or just laying out and enjoying a good book, the beach offers a fine backdrop to enjoy the day. But there are other ways to explore too. On horseback? Most people, if they're beginners, will just let them walk and take in the scenery and look at everything. Um, if they're more experienced, depending on their level, we'll let them trot or canter. Or if they're experienced, then they can gallop. And Sage seems to be wanting to walk around and look at everything. <laughs> How do you feel about that? <laughs> or by air via Air Amelia. Oh, it's a beautiful flight. We take off here from the Fernandina Beach Airport. Uh, which is a very nice facility built back during the war like most of these airports were. And we take off typically and fly south down to the uh, state park and we fly over that and then we go all the way up the beautiful 13 miles of beach here and then turn in and go over Fort Clinch up on the north end of the island um, and then over the historic district uh, you get a chance to see that and the paper mills up on the north end and then we fly down the marsh side which is also very beautiful and then we, we turn and come in and, and, and uh, come back here to the airport. Air Amelia utilizes airborne trikes for their experiences. A passenger joins a certified pilot on what could be described as a powered hang glider for a typical half hour flight to see the sights. In terms of a flight experience, it's about as close as it gets to being a bird. You have a, a bird's eye view, there's nothing underneath you to, to, to you know, stop your view, you're not looking out of a window, and it's an absolutely fantastic, thrilling uh, flight experience. For history lovers, the island is a place the French visited, the Spanish developed, the English named, and the Americans tamed. Don't miss a visit at Fort Clinch State Park. It was utilized during both the Civil and Spanish-American Wars. Since no battles were fought there, it's one of the most well-preserved forts in the United States. And then there's the 50-square-block historic district on the waterfront. It's on the National Register. You can really just uh, park your car and just walk and see so much down here. The shopping, the restaurants, get a drink, uh, see some beautiful Victorian homes. Um, just a lot of history down here, a lot of history. It's all these experiences combined with the relaxed family atmosphere and history that make Amelia Island a unique destination. You just lay back and relax. When you get enough pool time, beach time, you just take a nap. That's what we do every day <laughs> and plan where you're going to have dinner. <laughs> now that's a winning vacation recipe for all of us. Nelson X, WSBTV.com.